was eerily evocative of his immortal father. You've seen him tear it up on the ship with the Nighthawks. His last CD was recorded with Kim Wilson called For Pop. Let's welcome up front Mud Morganfield. Thank you for waking up for this. Um, well, let's talk about uh, your reemergence. Um, what, what drew you um, to the blues to the extent that you uh, dove in as uh, deeply as you dived in the last uh, decade or so with the recording? I ran from the blues all my life. <laughs> I mean, I had my dad. I mean, those are some big shoes to fill, man. But it caught up with me, that's all. Was there one pivotal um, event or occurrence that, that caused you to decide to, to focus on uh, um, basically keeping uh, keeping your father's legacy alive and extending it? Yeah, I think it was uh, maybe 2007, 2008. Uh, me and my mom, who was 85, was watching a uh, tribute to my dad. Uh, and uh, we were just me and her there watching it. And, they had Dr. John there, Coco Taylor, Buddy Guy, you name it was there. A lot of you might remember Billy D. Williams hosted it. And uh, me and my mom were sitting there and we were listening to that and watching that program. And as sad as it may sound, uh, really, it, it, threw, it threw me into uh, doing what I do. Uh, and we watched that program all the way to the bitter end. And uh, we watched all the interviews. We, we even was watching the critics, and not one time did I see my name mentioned. 